whole YouTube thing. I need to get my channel up there or like at least try to get some growth here. And you can't really do anything unless you don't do it in general. Growth doesn't just happen overnight, so I'm gonna try to be as consistent as possible as I can. And let's see here. I'm gonna just name myself my channel name. Give myself that confirmation. Yes. So let's see here. Let's see how this story is gonna go. All right, humans call Pokemon. It's like weird light. Seek out all the Pokemon and then find me. All right, so it's basically just a farming simulator with like Pokemon and stuff. And so it kind of opens up like Zelda almost when you're just like in a cave. It's crazy how this character and the one in Pokemon Shield and Sword kind of have like the same like face or like the same head structure. Is that Arceus? Like weird ball of light. Probably not going to use face cam for this one because I kind of want to show everything in the video, at least. We got through the loading screen, finally. So let's uh, see where this takes us. I like the cool little loading icon in the bottom right corner. All right, so far I got through at least like three minutes of recording. And then we're greeted by three Pokemon. So this must be one of the professors, hopefully. We wake up on like this weird beach. And it's crazy that like they've got like a weird cloud above this, above that town there. So he notices us falling from the sky, which is unusual. I doubt it. I don't really know anyone here. So you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Nope, nowhere. Yeah, I'm gonna just say no to everything. I don't know what to do. Just seem as concerned as possible. And it seems like they knew already that they were gonna find someone just like falling from the sky. So Cyndaquil, Piplup, and I forgot the other one. Of course I do. So Pokemon, we know where we're not, where we are, not so much. All right. Where are you going to bring us to, Professor? So what sucks about this game is that you have to get through a decent amount of playthrough just so that way you can have a save file from what I remember. Alright, so he walked all the way over there. Crouch is that. We can dash? Can we dash? I guess we can dash if we discovered it. Pick up the phone. <clears throat> Alright, we found a phone. Let's go. Beep beep. Boop boop. A bit stow upon the arc phone. You see, this is the arc phone. All right, move camera right. 
make a full 360. Sorry if that made you dizzy. All right, so here's where the professor is. Now we just need, I think we rescue their Pokemon here. There's always like some weird mission that we have to like rescue Pokemon. Rowlet, that's the name of the Pokemon. That's uh, Cyndaquil. I remember Cyndaquil. Dota region. And then, is this Piplup? Oh, Oshawa. Yeah, Oshawa, I don't really know. Anything past, like, the Johto? Or, like, those regions? I don't remember. And then, like, the Pokeballs are different, too. You get 50 here. In the very beginning, you get, like, 5 or 10. I think it's cool that they upped the amount of Pokeballs that you can actually use. Alright, so now we just gotta like practice catching Pokemon. So yeah, it's literally like Pokemon Go, but with the actual story. I'm correct. Alright, so we gotta aim at the Pokemons. Bonk. One, two, dot one. Wonderful. Wunderbar. All right. Now for this one over here. Hey, buddy. Yoink. Is he going to give us that one? Yes, we got two. So, Cyndaquil is actually going to try and give us a hard time here. So, we need to find Cyndaquil. Where is Cyndaquil at? Cyndaquil, where are you be, boy? Is that you over there? Hey, buddy. Yeet. Give me that. Oh, what? Two out of the one. Hey, buddy. Yoink. Perfect catch. Come on. There we go. <laughs> All right. It bolted from the village. So these ones have a bit of history of escaping. And then that's an arc phone. Their version of a cell phone in the game. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon. A situation of ripe situation right for teamwork shall we help one another out you've convinced me let's do it all right everyone's gonna be giving us this stank guy once we enter that village and he's gonna give us like the rundown i think All right, let's see here. So yeah, this is the, the, the village. Village Hante. The guardsmen. Everyone gets ran through uh, the professor. It's got like mutton chops. Mutton beards. Yeah, everyone just like staring us down. <laughs> mm. 
bombastic side eye this way it's an auto yeah feel free to read as as we go it's crazy how everyone's judging the way like you dress but like it's normal for the way most people dress there in the village like it's like a style that they kind of do or have there and then like the higher ups or like the major important people have like these flashy uniforms burr, burr. somehow it seems to show you where you need to go so it's like a GPS. All right. All right. Uh, where are we to go? Up there in the corner, there's where the wallflower, which serves like people in the guardsmen or the guards tower. The like that's like the chow hall, basically. So here's where I can talk to to maybe get like a place to stay and like a free meal maybe. But I would have to be on the team or something like that I think, right? Gong. Galaxy team folk. So rejected. Yeah. Attacked by Pokemon, the guard let you through. You must have ties with someone in the village. Of course we do, which is a professor. Leventon. Alright, suppose hardly no one to talk to. I've had trouble with Pokemon myself. Move called Thundershock not too long ago, so she experienced the same thing that Ash did at the very beginning with Thundershock. Probably trying to carry catch a Pikachu. Oh, there goes the professor. Being cheeky as usual. Akari just like talking smack. Captain Celine's permission. So I'm assuming she's like second higher up. Assuming the individual can contribute to the survey's corpse that is. I'm the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You can call me Celine. Celine, she's got RBF, like major RBF. Quite old enough to keep work for yourself. But we can't keep, simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us. Among us? Without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. So I guess there's a test that we need to ob oblige. Now you would care to join us for a meal. I'm sure you've got pli plenty of questions for our visitor. Oh yeah, I remember that she likes to eat alone for less distractions. I guess you can call it. Aloof always, I see. No matter the case, Benny old chum is going to whip us up some potato mochi. Potato mochi sounds bomb, actually. It's like a savory mochi dish. I like how it's different, like the actual size. I guess like mochi comes in different sizes in, for, in terms of dishes or like in terms of culture in like most of those like European or like Japanese or Korean backgrounds I guess you can say. The Hisu region. we know this much pokemon are terrifying creatures nah they're not might process powers they might pro possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do but that's where i come in 
successfully caught three Pokemon. No one in the Galaxy team is capable of feat as such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in the earnest. There, we've had a hard enough time catching even one wild Pokemon. As well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled the beach weren't on attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball, and as it seems, our new friend is fearless enough to do that. Does the Survey Corps really have a leeway to enjoying a leisurely meal with an outsider? Yeah, an outsider kind of odd, but you don't got to alienate us like for real, for real. Galaxy team provides for all its members, even if, even if said member fell out of the sky. So the Galaxy team sky leader, not even a leader, not even a Lee or a Durr. Food is lovely. I gotta, okay, so I gotta like take on the trial or like the test. Let's see if I can actually like take part in the galaxy team. Because that'll probably give us some like leeway and answers along the way. Figure out where we stand here. Because our goal is to fit into the city and stuff like that. So we don't get mistreated or like you know uh outcasted being that we're an outsider falling from the sky of course a lot of like people are gonna look at us crazy so we gotta like look into trying to achieve like being able to pass that test tomorrow or the next day in the game in game in game for sure all right, so I need to go to the head the, the the headquarters, the sleeping quarters, sleeping arrangements. Oh, there goes that's the dash. Okay, so we can can we dash like this? How do we dash? Oh, that's how we dash. Okay. Why are we? There we go. Not now. You better head to the quarters. You've been assigned for tonight. Okay, so is this it? There we go. All right, assigned for the quarters tonight. I wonder if we can save after this. All right, uh, sleep until tomorrow morning. Uh, can we save? Oh, we can save. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed thus far, Please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos in the next one. It's been Alto, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. So be on the lookout. I might be having a schedule, so if you guys are into like the whole Pokemon thing, then yeah, feel free to subscribe and keep on with the journey. We last stopped off at Juvali Village. And tomorrow we're going to embark on the galaxy team test.